Good morning, guys. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see, we're not in Penang Hill, like I said in the last video. The rest of the stuff in Penang it really wasn't worth too much taking a video, so I just decided to skip through it. But now, now, <laughs> we're up at seven in the morning, a time we are not very familiar with these days, right? Yep. And we are getting ready to go have our breakfast before getting on a bus that's gonna take us to Hat Yai, Thailand. And then from there, where we're gonna take a train all the way to Chumphon. Chumphon? 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 I don't know. Leave a comment below if you know how to pronounce that, that name, but it's a city in Thailand. Uh, we're very excited to go. Um, pretty much we're just gonna arrive there and fall asleep because we're gonna be traveling from well, after breakfast, so about 8 o'clock until roughly 10 or 11 o'clock from the morning till the night. So I thought I'd document this little adventure for you guys so that in case you wanted to come from Malaysia like I did and go to Thailand, you can do it because it took us quite a while to, to find all the correct information. All right, see you on the road. Okay, guys. Actually, we already made it. We're here in Hat Yai, Thailand. Uh, and it is definitely another country, <laughs> just to say the least. But I'm sorry I couldn't get the footage at the border crossing and all that stuff because they told us, and there's signs also, no phones, no video, no picture. They will <laughs> chop your hands off, uh, which I'm sure is exaggeration, but I'm not about to test that theory. Uh, so basically we got on the bus, you know, which was more of a van situation. Took us, stopped us at the border, we gave the guy our passport and 13 ringgit each. And he went and did his thing, got the paperwork for us. Then we crossed over the Malaysian border to Thailand. Then at the Thai border, we had to then give him a passport and the little piece of paper that he gave us. So you don't give that paper to um, the Malaysian side if they ask. Um, in addition, then we rode on for about an hour. We arrived in Thailand, right by a bunch of malls and the train station. Right from where we stood, we walked into the mall and got a uh, got SIM cards. Just at a little stand, it cost us 450 baht. Well, for me, because I got the high-speed one. And then, how much was yours? 350 baht. So overall, pretty cheap. Um, and that's for unlimited. Hers was for 8 megabytes per second. Uh, mine was for 58 megabytes per second. That's why it costs more. Uh, but now we're sitting here just on the uh, one of these roadside restaurants waiting for our train from the Hat Yai train station at 2.30. We're taking a uh, the ride to uh, Chumphon, uh, Thailand, which is going to arrive at estimated 10 o'clock at night. We have tons of time. Yeah, so we have time. We're getting some food. We have some Thai tea. Yeah, maybe this girl will take uh, noodle soup after Yes, oh, Thai tea. So exciting. We have sausage. And now we have some bread sausage also. We're very excited about all of it. And the sticky rice in yes, the bag. Yes, and uh, rice in the bag. And never, it's still hot. And never, it's in plastic. <laughs> yes, it's never ever heard of such a thing. Pretty strange. <laughs> so we're gonna eat our food. And then we'll update you guys on the train situation. How much was the train ticket? 189. Yeah, 189 baht. So it was like, I think, five dollars 550 something like that here's our second round of chicken looks delicious uh anyway like i said we'll update you when we're on the train and when we get to chumphan this is an all day all night travel experience uh we're doing it so you don't have to or so that you can that's as much of a headache as us all right i know 
that I said we were gonna see you on the train, guys, but I just had to tell you about this food. How is the food? Spicy. Yeah, well, but it's said, so good. She said it's spicy. This stuff is what's spicy, not the it's food. Like, it's spicy, but I'm, I'm still taking it a lot. Yeah. It, 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 in, in my opinion, it's not really that spicy, but she is baby spice and I'm Mr. Spice. She has a higher spice tolerance than me. Yes, because I lived in Korea and all that good stuff. Much spicier than Malaysia. Sorry, Malaysia. That's true. Um, That's true. But yeah, this chicken, oh my god, so freaking good. Then the sausages, mm, so wah much. wah, but she, she loves them. This tea, holy hell. I don't know what they put in this green stuff, but it's like a bubblegum tea explosion. Uh, it's so good, it's so refreshing, and even the guy, he brought over some pork neck samples. Oh wow, wasn't that stuff like so nice? Yeah, and I regretted ordering two sausages. Yeah. We should order one sausage and one pork. Yeah, the pork was very, very good. Um, and it was all, what was it? 240 baht. I guess, yeah. Right. Yes, 240 baht, so very cheap. Maybe $8 or something. Yeah, no, $6. Oh, there you go, <laughs> even better. $6. And this is not the, and the this local is prices? These yeah, are this, the local prices. These are the tourist prices. Yeah, this is, you know, this is the place where everybody crosses, it's by the train station, it's in a city. You know, this is hiked up prices, this is some random shop, it's not famous or anything. So, you know, when we get to, well, maybe not Chumphan, we'll see. Uh, we'll check the prices for you there. And you'll see along the way, the, the spots we go on the way to Bangkok, they're gonna be more local spots and everything's gonna be amazing and cheap there. Just wait and see. And just so you guys know, uh, this is the train station. This is the Hadjai station, you go in right there. A bunch of people are gonna ask you outside where you wanna go, just ignore them and walk past. You go inside for the ticket, don't give anybody out there any money. Um, and behind me was a nice cheap open cafe, but now it's closed. Uh, it's pretty early to close, it's only one o'clock in the afternoon. But yeah, so this is it. So this is where you want to go. Okay, we made it. We made it. After waiting for three hours. And we don't need masks. Yes. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, yes, they have, they have chicken on the train. Uh, it's very crazy. They have pineapple and chicken and chips. Yeah, that's the outside. We can put your window up or down, but we're gonna leave it down. I'll give you some scenic views, perhaps. Now it's just a eight to nine hour journey to Chumphan. Woo! Oh my god, in this type of train. I thought you liked the traditional train. This is the crazy train. This is not traditional. She, she told me it was gonna be like Harry Potter. Polar this is not Harry Potter. Not Polar Express either. <laughs> this is the Gampong Express. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay, guys. It's now midnight, and you can see it's just we've been on here so long. We were supposed to arrive. At 10. Now it's midnight. We've been on it since 3. It's insanity. Insanity. I can't even speak. And now. Make sure you get something to do just before the train arrives. Yes. And not be too excited like him. Yes, so now our hotel guy is about to pick us up. We're about to shower and. I guess eat some kind of food. Hell yeah! But the the ride was crazy. There was fried chicken and ice cream and all kinds of noodles. The ice and, cream was so good. And bao and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. So I mean, as long as you have some cash on hand, you won't go hungry or thirsty. But damn, is it a long ride? Finally, 
here 600 kilometers later okay and we made it we've got our nice little secluded patio Ooh, a gate gated community and we open the door into our spacious abode much more spacious than i thought we even have a guest bed which is quite funny uh how's the toilet looking it's a little bit small but doable ah yes this is a very asian one but it comes with the amenities of shampoo and stuff there is toilet paper, towel, hair dryer, fridge, fridge. full of stuff that you can American buy. American style, like the, they put it all in the fridge and then the price list too. Yes, price list. American but, style. Uh, it seems like a pretty good price list. I don't know about the beer. They even have the openers here if you brought your own. Hot water, heater, cups, snacks for purchase. I don't know what the hell this alien creature oh, it's an things. antenna for the TV. What? That's an antenna? Mm -hmm. Why does it look like a G.I. Joe or a Transformer or something? It's an Optimus Prime mixed with E.T. And then we Phone can spray home. this on this cut little thumb. Yes. I actually cut my thumb on the toilet door lock on the train. Uh, so it's actually kind of bleeding a bit, so... Gotta clean that up, cause who knows what hoo-ha is crawling around on that damn lock. You have organic uh, soap and shampoo also? Yes, for all of you vegans. <laughs> What's this? Oh, well, there's a second patio out here. I feel so sad that we're staying for a while. Yeah, we're just here overnight, unfortunately, cause we're on a fast track to Bangkok. Mm-hmm. But we're not going there for about a week. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe uh, we'll show you something in Chumpan before we go. I'm not sure. It's really just a transit area to uh, Prechuap Kiri Khan. This is heavier than this. Yes, you don't even want to know how heavy that bag is that I carry on my my broken back anyway see you guys there and don't forget to like comment and subscribe